Hi guys, welcome back to week three of our e-groups. My name is Lovely and this is Joel. And we're gonna get started on our first activity. So today, Joel is going to draw us his outer self. So while he draws, I'm just gonna explain what this means. So as we talked about in our message, sometimes we do things on the outside, maybe we say we've forgiven someone, but we might not have actually done that on the inside. So we're gonna take some time to reflect and see what our outer self looks like and what our inner self looks like and whether those two things match up. So Joel, do you wanna show us? This is so beautiful. Do you wanna to explain to us your beautiful outer self? Okay, so I, the first thing I drew, the reason why I drew this big smile is because I reckon I'm a very joyful person. Awesome. So I drew the smile because I have a big smile. And so I don't know why I drew just straight eyes, but you know why? It's because I reckon I do have big eyes and I've got that, yes. And then long hair, because I'm growing my hair out. You know, you have to grow it out. You have to make sure it's luscious. And then broad shoulders. You have to make sure you've got broad shoulders. Nice. everyone else. So yeah. what kind of personality things do you think you present in your outer self, Joel? So I have joy, I have energy, mm -hmm. I have um, structure in my shoulders and everything like that. Cool. I also have a lot of other things. I also have uh, creativity. Cool. And I have in my outer self as well. But yeah. Awesome. So we're going to let you guys think about your outer self for a little bit. Maybe you want to draw some of the personality things mm. that you think are good. You just want to think about what are the things that people think about when they think about you? I know for me, if I was to ask my friends, well, what do you think about me? I know a lot of people say that I like to read a lot. I like to talk a lot. I like music. Um, I think people would, I would hope people would say that I'm someone who's kind and, and loving. Mm. And those are the things that I choose to portray in my outer self. So while you guys are working on that, Joel's going to jump up again and draw his inner self, and we're going to see if there are any differences. Mm. All right, Joel. Inner self, okay. So yeah. when you're thinking about your inner self, maybe you can start to think about stuff that you do that not everybody sees. And this mm. one can be a little bit hard. So I encourage you to really take your time and think about it. I know that a lot of people may think that I'm someone who's really outspoken and loud because I love being a part of Equipers Kids. That's such a loud and fun ministry. But actually, in my inner life, sometimes I'm a little bit too quiet. Sometimes I see things that I don't think are okay and I don't actually have the courage to say those things out loud. Sometimes when my brother does something to annoy me, I get a little bit resentful and that's not something I would show on the outside. So those are the things that I want you to think about. They don't always have to be negative things. Maybe for you, maybe you're actually really creative, but you're a little bit nervous to show that to people. So you keep that on the inside. All right, Joel, do you want to no. explain to us your portrait of your inner self? So I had to do more because I, I, I guess the, the inside is more a lot of like random jubble things inside. So I've done a big heart because awesome. I have a huge heart. And right. I do show, although I do show it in my, my outer side, it's definitely in the inside as well, very, cool. very present. Um, I have two hands here. I don't know how good they are drawing, but they're definitely- it's a lot they're of kind fingers. Of, <laughs> got lots of fingers. So with that one, um, I've done a, like, it's like worshiping God. I choose to worship God in my, cool. in my time when I'm at home and all that kind of stuff. And I like reading the Bible, love reading and love learning a lot about God, a lot about studies and all that kind of stuff as well. But yeah, that's what I choose to, when I'm at home, when I, when I do my inner stuff, that's what I really focus a lot more there. Yep. Awesome. So I want you guys to take a little bit of time to draw your inner self. And like we've done today, I want you guys to reflect and think about just like Joel, do your inner self and your outer self, are they the same person? Or are there things that are inside that you would love to be on the outside? Maybe your creativity, your passion, hmm. or maybe that there are some things that you need to address on the inside, maybe a bit of hurt, a bit of bitterness. So these are things I want you guys to think about as you're drawing your inner and outer selves.
Awesome, welcome back. We're gonna do our second activity. So the dragon we were talking about in the message was the dragon of entitlement. So we're gonna be taking a little quiz to see how entitled we really might be. Mm. So Joel is going to read us four statements. And for each statement, we're gonna take a little pause and I want you to think about whether that really sits with you from one to 10. So Joel, why don't you read out the first one? I often throw tantrums when I don't get my way. So I want you to think, do I really throw tantrums when I don't get my way? If you do all the time, you might wanna give that a 10. Or if you're someone who never throws tantrums, who's always so peaceful and they really don't mind, then you would give that a one. So we're gonna give you a few seconds to figure that out. Awesome, Joel. Do you want to read the second one? I expect to be treated kindly even if I do not, uh, even if I'm not kind. Awesome. So, I want you to think about that. Do you expect everyone to treat you nicely even mm. if you don't treat them nicely? Again, score yourself from 1 to 10. Okay, Joel, what about number three? I feel sorry for myself a lot. So are you someone who sits in self-pity all the time, like those pelicans going, mine, 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 how come I don't have this? How come I don't have that? Or are you someone who is really content with who they are and what they have? I want you guys to give a moment to think about it and scale yourself from one to 10. All right, and the last one, Joel. I have a habit of judging others. Ooh, Ooh. are you someone who looks at someone being like, ooh, I don't like what they wear, ooh, they look weird, ooh, what is that, ooh, ugh, yuck, ooh, yuck. Is that something that you do? Maybe you don't do it on the outside, but maybe that's something that you do on the inside. Mm. You think that you're better than everyone else, so you think you can judge whoever you want. I want you guys to think about that for a moment. All right, so now that you've got those four statements and you've added, uh, you've got the numbers, I want you guys to add them up together and I want you to see what your big number is at the bottom. So, it's going to total up 240 and I want you guys to think about, wow, actually, maybe I realize that in one area, maybe I don't throw tantrums all the time, but actually, I'm pretty judgmental sometimes. Mm. And those are not things to be embarrassed or ashamed about, but it's something that you can bring to God and you can ask God, I'm sorry for doing this, will you forgive me? And like we know, our God is really faithful and merciful and he'll forgive you. Joel, how do you feel about this? Do you think there are some ways that you may feel entitled? Yes, definitely in, in the ways, I reckon the one I relate to the most is probably the one that I guess I feel sorry for myself a lot. And I guess I relate to that just because, you know, you're going through days, you're going through your kind of your step, your day to day life and you kind of be like, oh, I could do better than, than this or oh, this kind of thing could have done better. But, you know, you should you should know what God what God thinks about you and yeah. how he kind of sees you in that kind of way instead of feeling sorry for yourself. Awesome. So I want you guys to take a minute to think about what are the things that you can bring to God and ask mm. God to change in your life around that area of entitlement. And we'll see you soon.
Hey guys, welcome back. We're on activity three now. As you can see, it says we are grateful for. So what we're gonna be talking about is what we're grateful for and as Lovely was speaking about, she was talking about how we can slay the dragon of entitlement and all that kind of stuff. So what we're gonna be doing, what we've already prepared here for you, is that we have our name. So what we need you to do on your piece of paper or something that you have in front of you is for you to write your name down yes. and then right next to it, you need to write with each letter, yep. you need to write something that you're grateful for, something that you're thankful for. Awesome. For myself, I am thankful for Jesus because my first name, my first letter is J. My second letter is O, so I am I am thankful for our for, for our for our freedom. For E, I'm obviously I'm thankful for you guys for Equip as kids. And I had to chuck in a funny one. My, the last bit of my name is an L, so it is lollies. I know nice. I, I'm thankful for I'm lollies. I'm also pretty thankful for lollies. <laughs> so for my one, I wrote down that I'm thankful for my loving family. I'm thankful for the opportunities that God gave mm. me. I'm thankful for my vibrant friends. Definitely. I'm thankful for eating good food. I'm always <laughs> thankful for good food. I'm thankful that I get to learn new things and I'm thankful for Yahweh, which is another way of saying Jesus. So I want you guys to take some time to think about the things that you're grateful for. Maybe you're having a bit of tro trouble and you can ask the person next to you or ask one of the leaders to help you out if you've got like an X in your name or some like weird letter. I had the V and I had to ask, <laughs> I had to ask Joel to help me out with that one. So we're gonna give you guys a minute to figure that one out. Cool. And so while you guys are thinking about the things that you're grateful for, we're just going to share a time about when gratitude really helped us to forgive someone. Hmm. So I'm Filipino and I have a huge family. And so sometimes we'll come home, we'll all come home to my parents' house for Christmas and it's really, really fun. But sometimes because there are so many of us, um, it's really easy to get grumpy and to get resentful because things don't always go to plan. And I remember last Christmas, I was starting to get a little bit grumpy because my cousins were all in my room and I just wanted some quiet time. Wow. But actually I stopped and I realized that I'm so grateful for my cousins. I'm mm. so grateful for my brother. I'm so grateful for my family. Yeah. And that helped me to turn that attitude right around. And instead of being grumpy and resentful, I ended up having a great Christmas and enjoying my family. How about you, Joel? Um, so one that I could think of, um, I play a lot of sport. You may not notice, but you know, I've got muscles under all of this. <laughs> so I play football and I remember back to a time where I was kind of going through um, a bit of a tough time trying to figure out what's happening with the team. And I remember I stuffed up. I stuffed up on my team. I went to go score a goal and I missed and I felt oh, really no. weird. I felt really bad. And I remember um, we we're going through the game and mm -hmm. something, one of, the one of the teammates actually kicked me in the head with a ball. Oh and I was like, I was really angry, I was really frustrated. I was like, how, how could you do this to me? But I know in that situation, in that kind of situation we had to, I had to forgive him. Yeah, I had great. to forgive him because we had to continue on the game. I can't, yeah. there's no point of me being angry at him, you know? So I had to continue, I had to, I had to put on my strong cap and actually just run back into the game and say, you know what, we're going to win this game. And we did! That was cool. Awesome, right? that's a great testimony. And as we finish up, hopefully you filled out all the things mm. that you're grateful for using your name. And this week, we want you to put your gratitude into action. Maybe you've put down that you're grateful for your teacher. Maybe she's been amazing during your time of lockdown and you're really thankful that she's so loving and kind and funny. How can you show her that? Maybe mm. you can write a card. I know a lot of you guys have been baking. Maybe you can bake for your family members, but we want you guys to do one or two things to show your gratitude for the people around you. And those are our activities for our e-group this week and we'll see you next time.